So we've got a follow up on the story uh, that we talked about yesterday regarding Joe Biden. And for those of you that missed that video, I would encourage you to watch it. But if you didn't see that video, then let me just give you a quick, a quick rundown. So basically, Joe Biden drew criticism from his Democratic Party rivals because what he did was he talked about the need for bipartisanship and working together. And to do that, he talked about how he used to work with white supremacists, like actual segregationists like James Eastland, and he went a step further. He then went on to humanize them and talk about how he was such a nice guy and he called me son and not boy. I wonder why he called you a white person's son, Joe. So basically, the reason why a lot of people took issue with this is because there was this underlying implication that he was saying that people of color should come to the table and work with these assholes who dehumanize them. And by trying to humanize horrible people like James Eastland, you're doing a disservice to people of color because these assholes like James Eastland, they would have never allowed for people who they dehumanize to be humanized and viewed in the way that Joe Biden is allowing us to view them. They think that black people are inferior. Like James Eastland literally gave a speech during World War II to complain about how he didn't like that black troops were serving. He said that they were mentally and physically incapable of serving in the military. So Joe Biden demonstrated how racially insensitive he is. You don't get a pass because you were the VP for the first black president. Sorry, you don't get a pass. So a lot of people criticized him. And what Cory Booker did, one of his rivals, was he said Joe Biden should apologize. So Joe Biden was asked about Cory Booker saying he should apologize. Watch his response here. You don't have to like the people in terms of their views, but you just simply make the case and you beat them. You beat them without changing the system. How does it feel that your Democratic rivals are implicitly saying that you have issues talking about race? They know better. Are you going to apologize? Like Cory Booker apologize for what? Cory Booker's called for it. Cory should you. apologize. He knows better. There's not a racist bone in my body. I've been involved in civil rights my whole career. Period, period, period. He was genuinely shocked. You could see it on his face. Apologize for what? Why should I have to apologize? I only talked about how lovely these white supremacists were and tried to humanize these bad people that would never give the people they dehumanize the time of day to be viewed as, you know, a human being. But I don't see why I should apologize. And his answer to Cory Booker, it's unreal. It blew my mind. Um, Mr. Biden... Cory Booker says that you should apologize. What do you say to Cory Booker? His response? No, you. Wow, this is a child. This is a child. This is the left-wing Donald Trump. He's maybe slightly more intelligent than Donald Trump. He's certainly um, almost as narcissistic as Donald Trump. And he says things that... He can't fathom why people would take offense to them or disagree with him. It's all about me. Me, me, me. What? I have to apologize? Why would you do this to me? Why would you say that I should apologize? No, you should apologize to me, Corey, for saying that I should apologize. Drop out. Just drop out, Joe. Drop out. The fact that anyone even thought about supporting him. I mean, he's sliding in the polls now, but the fact that anybody thought about supporting him, it shows <laughs> the power of, you know, going away, right? Because everybody was okay with Joe Biden when he was gone and they had these nostalgic views of him during the Obama era. And then he comes back and they're reminded what a fucking dipshit he is. What a moron. He needs to just drop out. We need to move on. We don't need to go backwards to Joe Biden and the Obama era. I get that you still may feel these warm and fuzzy feelings. People just, they reminisce about the good old days when we had a Democrat in the White House. But they don't realize that the reason why we got Donald Trump was because during the Obama era, they were ignoring a lot of issues that was leading to desperation that caused the radicalization that ultimately facilitated the rise of someone like Donald Trump who exploited that desperation that people were feeling. So we don't need to go back. And we certainly 
Don't need to look to Joe Biden. If we can't do better than Joe Biden, then I don't know what to say. The Democrats are just um, useless. And to nobody's surprise, Nancy Pelosi defended him. The supposedly woke leader of the Democratic Party defended him. If Democrats can't even be good on social issues, which is basically their only strength, then go the fuck home. You have no business being in politics. Because the one thing that really differentiates Democrats from Republicans is them being at least reasonable on most social issues. They still need to do better, right? They need to improve substantially, but they're better than Republicans. But if you can't even give us the bare minimum, if you can't understand why we don't want you to humanize these white supremacists, if you can't understand why we're not going to negotiate when it comes to issues like abortion and the Hyde Amendment, go the fuck home. We don't need you. We don't want you. Drop out, Joe.